I have this carrier indoor AC unit or air, or air handling unit. There's a name tag. Here's a unit. I have the blower, the blower section out. There's a blower section. Goes right there. I'm gonna be showing you how to reinstall it. And by me showing you how to reinstall the blower section and the motor, because this is the motor right here, then you will also know how to uninstall it because you're just gonna do the reverse process. Um, so the reason why I have this whole thing apart is simply because as you can see here I have a bad motor and this is the factory motor this is the original equipment our OE and it's an it's an ECM motor right so ECM motor but um these motors are quite expensive and also a little harder to get right so there's more wait times and such and this particular motor from the manufacturer you're looking at about eleven hundred dollars at this date of the date of this video so that's one thousand one hundred now this one right here it's not an it's not an ecm this is a a psc motor a permanent split capacitor and this right here with the capacitor and that little relay right there that was only two hundred dollars okay so um, I'm gonna show you how to do the conversion, how to set it up. All right, D to D N Y, real world HVAC simplified. And now, in this video, you already know. You learn how to install or, or replace a blower motor, and how to do a conversion in the event of an emergency. Client doesn't want to pay the extra money. They're in a budget and if they uh, just don't want to wait all right so stay tuned now before we get to installing um, this motor I want to explain real quick why I made this choice so here we have uh, this particular motor right here it's um, uh, 120 slash 240 volts that's the power supply and you have 7.7 .7 slash 4.3 amps. So obviously at 120 volts power supply, it's going to draw 7.7 .7 amps and at 240, or as we know here uh, in the US, we do 28. So it's going to be 4.3, all right? That's the amperage. And over here we have the, right, right here we have above that, we have the OS power or HP. It's a one half horsepower and at 60 hertz and single phase, obviously. And where is that? Over here, right here, it has you have the RPM. Now this is zero to 1400. Well, because this is, this is an ECM motor, it could ramp up and ramp down, right? V you know, variable, variable speed. So at any given time, it could be running anywhere between zero and 1400 RPMs. Now, Unfortunately, uh, the closest I could have gotten to this RPM range with the same other specs was uh, 1075. Now, this one is also three speeds, right? Three speeds. As you can see right there, three speeds. So 1075, and this is 2A230 volts. Now, I chose 2A230 volts because this unit power supply is 28 to 30 volts. I think we can see there on the uh, tag, is it? We can see for see phase. Where's the voltage? Where's my voltage? Okay, it's right there. Here's the voltage. 230 and also you can see the the specs for the motor it's a half horsepower here it shows you again and it's at uh, 4.3 amps the full load amps so um, 
So hence the reason why I just I chose the 2A230. And um, also I chose a, a, a slightly bigger or higher horsepower. So a little bit more power this more this one here has than this one. And the reason why I did that is based on the amperage on the nameplate. So as you can see, this right here is FLA 4, four amps, right? So if I had one with the, with, the, with the half horsepower, the FLA in that was, uh, I think, 3 or 2.8. And so my calculation based on that, I know that amperage and workload is equivalent. So um, my thought process on that was, okay, well, if the full load amp on the unit is 4.6 or 4.3, then I would want a motor with a similar FLA, right? It, whether it's going to draw the full load amp or not, I don't think it will, but I just want to have that, that, that equivalent power just in case. I'd rather to do that than to have a motor that when this thing is installed and running, I'm going to be having the motor overhamping. Now, as far as this motor is concerned right here, this is the ECM, this is an ECM, and based, based on this wire connection, that's the, I guess, the communication and the selection, how fast, uh, how much RPM, um, how much power, whatever. And obviously these two right here is a power. 8 volts power now this board if you look at this unit right now is a, th is a 36 not 36 no that's 24 I mean it's a 30 so it's two and a half tons and you can see you can select from this little board right here um, with this ECM motor you can select a different horsepower you see like you have 42 36 30 and 24 um, so this this uh, jumper is currently on 36, right? So it tells me that this same motor, um, you can install the same motor in a 30, a 36, a 42. It's the same motor, but based on your selection from this little board right here, you're telling it how how fast to run or how much power to put out or whatever, you know, whatever. It is, it's not even relevant. Um, but here we go. Here we got um, from the thermostat. We have we have, a, we, have a, we have a wire right here for cooling. It lands there on the board, and then we have a fan wire. So I'm going to just take the fan signal, just G. See G. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna piggyback over that, and I'm gonna take common, which is C. I'm gonna piggyback over that. So G, which is fan signal, and C. Is gonna power my relay right here. So 24 volts coil relay, and this relay can handle enough power, or can handle more than this motor right here, way more. So the readings in this uh, motor right here, I mean this uh, relay is, um, you can handle 12 amps FLA at 120, and 8 amps at 277 so yeah you can definitely ample, uh, handle this little little four four amps right because um, so that's good okay and then obviously this right here is a capacitor right because this is a permanent split capacitor and I'm going to be wiring this motor up with the high speed with the highest speed right and um, this motor once you install it as far as the rotation um you can you can select that with these two wires right here All right so currently it sets to do ccw how it is right now with these two wires but you just pop them out and switch orange with yellow and you're going to have cw okay there's a little schematic right here pretty straightforward and um, yeah, you got these two two brown wires with the uh, stake on at the ends. The red stake ons at the ends. These are for your capacitor. Straightforward, right? That's the one right there. 
and then there's the other one. So with the red with the red connector at the end, that's for the capacitor. Pretty straightforward. See? Right down here, brown. Brown for the capacitor. And then orange with yellow. That's your that's your rotation. And then you have red is low speed, blue is medium, and black is high. So I'm gonna be capping capping the red and the blue. And I'm gonna go with the black with high speed. I have options, okay? And I could have I could have used if I really wanted to be savvy, I could have used a second relay and or and, and a and a third relay and make the one relay connected to G. The G right there. For the regular fan when fan goes on. And then another relay, then I'm, I could use that for um, cool. There's a Y1 or Y. That would be medium medium fan. So I'll usually use that on the blue wire. And then, then, actually what am I saying? So I would make, yeah, I would make the cooling or Y high speed. So I'll use the black wire with that, the black. And then for heat, I will use... Uh, the red wire with another relay so i love medium for regular fan which is g i use that for, for medium uh g for medium and then g for medium and then i could just use y which is right there the cooling signal i use that on the, on the relay with the black and then i could use uh w with the heating signal but i, will not, I won't be doing that so i'm just going to use one general uh speed which is the high speed and just take it off the fan signal so whenever the thermostat calls for cooling or heating the fan will the fan signal will be sent and my motor will run let's get into it so there you go here is your your belly band mounting apparatus it's close to 